Hi there, Simon Keeling here, and um, this video is just an introduction to one of the indices that we'll be using through the course of the winter months um, I wanted to show you a little bit about. Um, you've probably heard of the Arctic Oscillation Index. Well, there's something called the Arctic Oscillation, and uh, the Arctic Oscillation is quite useful for using in Northern Hemisphere winters. Basically, what it is, is a measure of pressure distribution between the poles and mid-latitudes, down to around about 45 degrees north. Now, it measures whether pressure is above or below normal within that zone and what we find is a positive or a negative index so in a when we have positive index that means that we have normal westerly winds blowing around the arctic region what that does is it brings warmer weather through the british isles and uh, much of northern europe bringing warmer and wetter conditions incidentally these charts are from the National Ice and Snow Information Centre in the States. Um, when it goes into a negative phase or a weaker phase, when this wind around the Arctic, the normal westerly winds blowing around the Arctic, are weaker, we tend to find uh, north and northeasterly winds coming down through northern Europe into the British Isles, bringing cooler conditions with the wetter weather being displaced further southwards. So this is how uh, the Arctic Oscillation Index looks because you can then produce a forecast based on it. And um, this is the forecast from Ryan Maui's site. And uh, what it shows us is the dates across the bottom here. And it shows how we dip into negative territory, then become more positive next week look, and then dip into more negative territory as we go into the end of the month. It's these this line with these circles in it that we're really interested in, the ones either side are basically the various runs of the models and it takes a mean flow through the middle here, a mean result to produce a forecast. So what it's saying here is that we go negative, weekly negative uh, through this weekend, we go positive into the early part next week before it then starts to tail off. Now what you can't do here is take a forecast as in that day is going to be cold, that day is going to be warm. But what you can use the Arctic Oscillation Index for is just giving you an overall view as to how the weather is likely to develop in the coming days. hope that's been useful for you.